Excellent. And what were your pre-PA candidate stats? So understanding a little bit of your background before you applied to PA school. Yeah, so I was 23 at the time of applying. I started PA school at 24. Um, I applied once to both programs um, in Ontario, so McMaster and U of T. Um, I was um, interviewed at both and accepted at both programs. And I had my undergrad GPA, that's what the UG GPA is, is at 3.78. I did also complete a master's in aging and health at Queens uh, directly after my undergrad. And then I got more than 910 hours, but at the time 910 was the requirement um, for U of T. And I got those as a medical receptionist working at a family practice. So I did that. I worked while I was completing my master's and then the year that I also applied to PA school. Um, and then those are my degrees at the bottom. So those were kind of my statistics uh, as I applied. And my undergrad was in biology. So yeah, for me, uh, my first degree was again, uh, electrophysiology technologist. So that's a college degree. Um, so it doesn't count. So I know that sometimes people ask about that, like does a college degree count? And unfortunately it doesn't, but um, I was able to get some transfer credits from my college degree and apply it to university. So I was able to get some electives actually credited um, when I started my undergrad. Uh, so I have that. I also have a degree in photography. Uh, that I couldn't transfer any credits for photography into healthcare. Um, and then, yeah, like I said earlier, I did undergrad in health sciences at Queens. Um, so I, my GPA is approximate. It's like 3.7-ish. Uh, it's hard because uh, at Queens, it's on a 4.3 scale. So it was kind of based on what I calculated using like the calculators on Google or whatever. Um, and uh, again, like yeah, 10,000, 15,000 hours. And uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything at this point, Anne or Hannah, you can mention if I'm leaving things behind. No worries. Um, actually, it looks like from your infographic, there's a huge variety of different backgrounds that people come with for healthcare experience. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the backgrounds that some of your classmates have got? Yeah, so we have like a really, like you can see on the screen here, a really big variety of, of professions and, and jobs. So uh, we have a few kinesiologists or like they worked in kinesiology, have athletic therapy. Um, uh, one, one is in like psychology. Um, what else do we have? It's a, a radiation, um, like, yeah, a radiation technology. I don't know how you call that more specifically. Uh, what else, Hannah? I'm, I'm forgetting things. And they're right there, actually. I should just look at them. Yeah, a lot of um, medical assistants or like pharmacy assistants as well. So kind of administrative roles and then some research, uh, clinical research as well that I think uh, people completed through their undergrad um, or through their master's as well. Excellent. Yeah, and it's really cool because like just quickly, like in our class, because we have such a diverse background, like everyone has kind of like a health background because of the hours that we need to apply. But, you know, in all our different courses, like different classmates will have strengths at different times. So it can really help each other. Um, like for example, we just finished like ECG and I worked in cardiology, so I was able to help out. And then if we're doing psych, like another classmate is able to help. I'm sure Hannah will help when we get to like geriatrics. Um, I think it's next semester. So it's really nice to have that diverse background for, throughout all our classmates. Yeah, I'm see with a lifesaver holding the tutorials for me for the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so good.